Alrighty, welcome again to another installment of Let's Fix a CX210X laptop. Um, recently had some difficulties. The uh, video card kind of failed on me. Um, well, I'm still in the process of properly diagnosing, but I found a wonderful uh, deal on a new motherboard over here in its protective casing it is. And so I figured, ah, why not? I'll go ahead and uh, swap it out because the problem is most likely on the motherboard. Anywho, I've already taken off the keyboard, which for those of you who don't know, the proper method for doing so is to remove the two keyboard screws on the back. They both have a K over it. I know I'm holding this upside down, but uh, this screw here and this screw over uh, here both have the K um, engraved uh, just above them to signify that those are the two screws that hold the keyboard in. Now, um, I've already got it out, particularly because it's an annoying uh, an annoying little thing to do, but here you can see it right over here, and uh, you can see the two places where the screws uh, go into the keyboard. Now there's this black ribbon cable, and you need to be very careful about it because it's fragile, and it connects right in here. Uh, oh, man. There we go. Okay. Now, right there, there happens to be a white and black connector. The key to this white and black connector is you just flip down or flip up. Easy peasy. So, anyway, um, I'll be doing this in a couple of uh, very short segments of taking the whole thing apart and putting it back together with a new motherboard, and hopefully that fixes the problem. But even if it doesn't, hey, new motherboard. Okay, well, since I don't have a working tripod, I kind of have to, uh, you know, unscrew stuff, take a couple things off, and then uh, do another section. So here we go, Fla flash forward a little bit. I've removed the covers that go here, here, and here, as well as my wireless card. Um, it's important to, uh, you know, to make sure you've got things loosened up, and then just pry them up. They usually yield pretty easily but the first time you do it you'll naturally be a little bit timid but don't be worried there are, on many of these there are little uh, little tabs as extra safeguards against being unscrewed um, so as I said I've already taken the uh, the time to remove the wireless card over here be sure to remember which uh, which lead goes to which post uh, notice you've got a white and a black one over here um, the wireless card is removed by removing a screw here pulling up until you get to about a 45 degree angle and then pulling out. Same thing with the RAM down here. There's no screw to remove, but you do um, pop these little little uh, metal flanges out here, pop them out, and then move up to a 45 degree angle and pull out for both of the RAM slots. With the hard drive, I've already done a uh, done one uh, video dedicated to it. I believe. Um, but you remove the screw down here and then the whole thing just uh, just pulls and lifts out. And then you're good to go. Now, as you open up more and more of these ports, um, there will be screws that you'll have to unscrew. I'll do my best to show those uh, in just a moment. Alrighty, I have uh, removed the heat sink. Um, now you can see exposed to the uh, processor and uh, video unit. Um, also, I have loosened most of the screws up here around the uh, around the outside. Um, there are a few screws right down here in the hard drive bay that was that were underneath the hard drive that I'm going to uh, unscrew, as well as a few more. And let's see, um, there are going to be some screws. Um, you'll want to unscrew your CPU over here, but there are going to be some screws underneath the basal that you're going to want to take out as well. All right, now after you get to that point, you're going to need to pry off the uh, gray silverish top here. And as you'll notice, I'll bring you in for a closer look. There are these little tabs here. Sorry that unfortunately the video quality is not exactly up to snuff, but hey, what do you expect from an amateur? Um, anyway, so you're going to gently pry up around the, around the basal 
so that you can get this whole gray basil up. And then once that's up, you should have access um, to the motherboard. Alright, so the next thing that you need to do is you need to pry up this black and silver strip back here. That's done by uh, <coughs> inserting a little uh, screwdriver, flathead preferably, um, just in underneath here and also, so, sorry, uh, over here. You pry it up and then with very little effort you just pry up a bit and pull out and uh, each of the tabs will release and you'll find that it comes off quite easily. Now, the reason we do this is because we need to remove some new, uh, some, some more screws and such uh, back here. Oh, uh, also, while we're on the subject, should you ever find occasion that you need to uh, change the uh, change the hinge or anything like that, what you want to do is you want to follow these same steps, or at least the one with getting off this bit of the basil, and then flip this around, and then from there you can uh, pry up this back piece of the swivel cover. Here, I may as well do it right now while we're while we're at it. Um, but you just pry it up. Bam! There we go. And... Uh, sorry. It's just... <sighs> Unfortunately, with these plastic things, as I'm sure you know, you really... You know, you really try and be timid because you don't want to to break them. Okay. There we go. Anyway, so this part came off, which makes access to the front part that much easier. Then after just a little bit more prying on this front piece, it will come right on out. You can put that off to the side. And then all the access that you could ever want or need to the wiring in here, you can tighten up the hinge um, and, you know, do whatever else you need to get done. So, uh, for those of you who are looking to fix a hinge, I hope that helps. So, a shout out to my wife who uh, was so kind as to hold the camera while I did this part. <coughs> now, to get the motherboard up and get the cover off and everything, you are actually going to need to take off the screen assembly, which it's a good, re it's a good thing that we learned how to do this. Now, we're, you're going to want to uh, detach these three cables here, 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 and over here. And take out these front two screws. And then, once that's done, it should just completely uh, lift right out. Okay, you can cut it. You're recording. Alrighty. Now that you've uh, pried this part up, these two cables here, I believe this is uh, power and video, you're going to want to uh, get those detached as well. Now, there happens to be this black cable right here. Um, I have to admit my ignorance at not knowing precisely what it does, but I'm pretty sure you use it to, uh, you use it to get, to get the video, car video uh, cable unhitched from there.